Good afternoon, y'all. Um, I'm at Ebor today, and I just got my nails done. Y'all, she did so good. Like, look at them. Look, the calls. I feel like that's really the vibe I'm trying to go for. Anyway, this vlog is just gonna be. I'm just saying hello because I haven't said hello in a little minute. Mm. Um, this is embarrassing. This is not embarrassing. Let me stop saying that because it's not embarrassing. It's only embarrassing if you make it embarrassing. I am early. My sister's getting married, y'all. She's engaged. So we were checking out this wedding venue. But I got here early. So I'm going to walk around and wait for her. But, y'all, I just got my nails done. And I feel... One thing about it, I just feel so good. Like, it's one thing because for me... I really love to spoil myself. Y'all, I picked up a whole nother job just so that I could get back to my maintenance. Like, I felt so untaken care of. I'm so close to, um, oh, look, it's Southern Knife. I'm on 7th. I didn't even know that. Am I on 7th? I don't even know. I am. I just felt so untaken care of. So I was like, I need to do something. Something got to shake. Granted, I definitely don't think I would have been able to survive off the one job. It's loud. Off the one job that I had, even for like rent and everything. So I needed another job anyway. But at the same time, I was just like, I can't. I can't do nothing. Like, I need my maintenance. My nails need to be done. I needed a wax. I've needed a wax this whole December and November. Shit. I've needed a wax for so long. Finally was able to afford the wax. It feels so good to be able to take care of myself. It feels so good. And I don't even care all the shit that I had to sacrifice. <coughs> like, it was worth it because everything that I sacrificed obviously was a good sacrifice because I feel so good. Like, I know I made some dumb decisions. But at the same time, it's like... I know I made good decisions too. Like, it's kind of like a trade. So this was like revitalized from all my dumb decisions because it's like, I really had to get back on, I had to get back on me. Like I can't be doing what everybody else do because that don't work for me. What works for me is doing good, doing right by myself. And this working and making sure I'm provided for is what, makes me feel good like i'm not the type of person where if i can't do it for myself i'm not asking nobody to do it for me like until i feel secure in what i can do for myself and i know what i need and what i want i'm not asking shit from nobody because it's like if I don't know what I want, how am I going to tell you what I need? Like, that doesn't make sense. So it's like, I know I'm making the, I knew I was making the right decision by when I stopped dating. I stopped dating. I took time for myself. I did feel a couple classes, but there was so much going on. There was so much going on. I wish I would have put a fit on. Look at me. Look at me. Bruh say look at me. Beautiful. I want to say hi. I know her. She looks so good. Hold on. Hold on. Don't even. Don't even. This is going to get handled. But y'all I just had such an amazing experience. I just had such an amazing experience. Mm, this way, yeah. Okay, so while I was walking, I actually ran into a friend, and I love when that happens to me. If anybody knows me, they know I love running into people because it's just like, oh, how do we end up at the same place at the same time? But we just started talking, and she was just asking me like my 2023 strengths and weaknesses, and things I'm looking forward to in 2024. And I thought I should share what I said. When she asked me that but a strength that i found myself having in 2023 was 
my ability to just like keep my cool like my ability to not just burn shit to the ground i feel like my ability to just have a cool head in 2023 really helped me not go crazy i really do believe so like because there was a lot of things a lot of challenges in my life this year that definitely could have taken me out the game but i feel like i'm still standing strong and like i feel like my spirit could not be any more stronger than it is now like <clears throat> i do not let my challenges break me and okay a weakness that i had that i was saying was how i was just giving too much to people places and things that were not reciprocal like we was talking about it and she was saying like we was on the same wavelength of how like people and like places are investments like when you start seeing it like that it's like you want if i'm going to be pouring into something i want to support back into me like i'm filling up your cup but you're not feeling out of mind you're just taking from my cup and if I'm not able to pour into myself, then that benefits nobody. That literally benefits nobody. And that was just a theme that I kept finding myself in, in 2023, of me pouring into these cups and these places. And I felt like it wasn't rejuvenating me. I felt like it was draining me more than it was revitalizing me and like making me happy for life. Like the connections I was in, the spaces the people the places there were just too many things that were draining me of my energy to the point where i started to almost give up on myself but i'm not a giver upper i'm really not like i'm gonna sit here i'm not a giver upper i'm a person who perseveres so it's like this year definitely was a challenging one and definitely was one that like tested my spirit but in 2024 i'm definitely looking forward to locking in like my determination for this year is so strong to just focus to just focus like my focus is completely on myself and that's why i was saying before that i had stopped dating because it was like i need to focus on myself i need to double down and just like sacrifice a couple of months to my personal development because it that's how that's how like important this is to me that i'm willing to just cut life out so that i can bring life into myself like oh i felt myself constantly trying to help other people on their journeys helping other people try to get to where they're going while i'm over here leaving my own journey behind and i was saying this and she was like write that down i was like but it's like i can't Ooh, hold on this is fucking me up but don't worry but i was saying how like <clears throat> once you get clear on your goals and once you know who you are and know what is for you it is so much easier to know when something is not for you so much easier to discern between the distractions the things that are not in alignment with your path like because a friend that I had saw, she was expressing how distractions were some of her weaknesses. And I was like, it happens. Like we're in that age where distractions are like, I feel like at an all time high, like in your twenties, people are always saying, that's the time that you need to be making mistakes and doing this and doing that. And it's like, yeah, but at the same time, this is the time for you to be like, this is your prime. Your twenties, I feel like is your prime or even just like your pre prime either way something to be taken not so lightly because then you get past your 20s and your 30s and you're like damn i'm still trying to do things that i was wish i would have done in my 20s or wish i would have started learning in my 20s 
but I digress going back to what I was saying like once you know what's for you you know what's not for you it'll be so much easier to discern between what is and what is not that might be good for you but not for me I know myself I know what my what my goal is I know what I need to do and that ain't it baby that ain't it I ain't even I don't need to do all that my goals require me to be in this type of energy in this type of spaces and if ooh, I'm going somewhere that does not align with that I'm not it's it I don't need to be there point blank I don't need to be there this world is a reflection of you so make it pretty make it nice but you got to know yourself in order to know what your world looks like. Ay! Bitch. You got to know yourself so good. So that when people try to act like they know you better than you. It's like, nah. You actually do not. You actually don't know what the fuck. Once you get so secure in yourself, and that's really the goal for me right now, is just to feel secure, like actual security, not fake security, no nothing. Like there was a past version of myself that really wanted to be in a relationship because I felt like that was what was going to make me feel secure because I had somebody to depend on or rely on when I couldn't even rely on myself. So I had to distance myself from that illusion that I had created in my head and get to the root of it and just be like what is it like I wanted to feel like I could depend on myself I wanted to feel reliable for myself I wanted to feel secure and safe in my own energy I wanted to feel like I could protect myself and I felt like those are things I couldn't do unless I had somebody there but the thing about it is I don't want to have to feel like I need a relationship just to show me those things. I want to embody those things so that I can attract the people, places, and spaces that will just match me already. So that when I get there, I am whole. There's nothing that's being subtracted, only added to the experience because... I'm secure in myself. I feel everything I need to feel all by myself. There's nothing outside of me that I need. And I'm a person who loves community. So that's something that will always be a part of me. But it gets to a point where it's like, not all communities are going to be for you. Not all communities are going to support you like you need. Which is why it's important to know yourself know who you are and take the time to discover who you are it's hard it is get up out of your bed and it's like you feel alone but that's the, that's exactly the energy you need to be in is sitting in that loneliness and being like well now second what and then you start to see the color come back to your life because you've added it back in because you've taken that time it's a beautiful thing and I'm so grateful to be alive today I am I'm so happy like I feel so good like this 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 y'all don't understand how much it just makes me feel I don't need to have my nails done. I really don't. Like, my nails are strong and healthy. Like, I didn't need to get my nails done. But there's just something about the feeling of physically being able to take care of myself that just, I needed. I needed that. No, I wanted, honestly. I didn't need it, I wanted it because it comes, it came from a place of wanted to do it for myself like honestly I just wanted to prove to myself that I could depend on myself and I did I got a new job I moved out all of these things helped me to like 
feel like I could rely on myself and I could stand on my word because I've always said that I wanted to do this. I've always said I wanted to do that. And I and I did it. And I'm going to continue standing on business in 2024. Mark my words. I'm so upset that I didn't get all dressed up today. And I really should have. I really should have. I should have got dressed up today. But that's okay because I still can. These pimples. I'm grateful. I am. I feel so good. I know this feeling won't last forever. So I'm like basking in it. Embracing it. Making this video. Sitting with it. Staring at my nails. Like she did her thing. She really did. Oh, she didn't even, she didn't even know how dirty she be on these nails like whew. 